Welcome. I see why the agency picked you. There's a lot of potential to work with here. That's where I come in. By taking your potential and turning it into perfection. So, we're gonna make you famous here. <laughs> now before we begin our session today of just getting to know one another, seeing if we work on a client-manager basis, I did have my assistant go ahead and prepare a quick video for us today, just so that you have an idea of what might be asked of you in the future to see if you're up to task. I'll have you go ahead and watch that while my assistant sets up everything here for us. We'll get started. <laughs> okay, but these smell like so good and they're so pretty and they're so big for perfume sizes. I mean, come on, that's ridiculous. What? Oh, we're rolling. <laughs> um, thank you so much to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. Scentbird lets you pick a new designer fragrance every month for just $17, and you get to pick, so there are no surprises. Each bottle gives you a 30-day supply, which is so much more than those little bitty sample sizes you can get elsewhere. I like them because it gives you that full 30 days to figure out if you actually like the scent before you shell out $150 for the full-size bottle. The magnetic cases on these are super easy to use. Just simply pop the top off. You can pull that sample out of there and then you simply just pop it right back on and lock that perfume in place. Love Me the Silver Parfum is a perfect springtime going out scent with the bright notes of tangerine and jasmine well balanced with the deep and seductive notes of sandalwood and amber. Violet Gem felt like the perfect springtime scent to get you excited and ready for summer. With the cucumber dew and sun-kissed passion fruit notes, it reminded me of a spa day or a day at the beach. Viva La Juicy Rose ended up being my favorite of all of the scents. I really enjoyed the bright citrus mandarin and pear with the rose and peony, but with that nice smoky vanilla undertone, it was bright and energetic without sacrificing some of those more seductive and mature notes. Be sure to check out the links in the description and use code MUSINGMIRA for 55% off your first purchase. That means for just a little over $7 for your first month, you get all of these. Believe me, they smell amazing. So thank you, Sinbird, for sponsoring this video. Was that good? Yeah. Thank you, Amelia, darling. It all looks wonderful. You did marvelous. Yes, thank you. Yes, if you wouldn't mind going and getting that. Wonderful. Thank you. Hmm. She's a doll. She tried going through the exact same session that you're going through today, but she just didn't quite have it. Now let that be your first lesson. No matter how many gifts or talents that you have, no matter what someone calls out in you, it does not matter if you can't say it for yourself. You're still working on confidence with her. I have hoped that one day she can make it in the industry, but for now, she makes a lovely assistant. Anyway, what I was grabbing while you were watching that, this is your little black book. Well, my little black book for you. This is where I will keep everything. Your likes, your dislikes, your interests, your aesthetics, 
your favourite things to eat, the things you hate to drink, so on and so forth. This is where we will curate the persona that we present to the public. Well, yes, sweetheart, it is very, very important to only present a curated persona. Well, number two, never give them everything. That is a surefire way to get burnt out. I've seen far too many, far too many fall victim to that. Such a shame. So much talent lost. Nonetheless, today we will be discussing just the general basics of you. I'll be getting some measurements here, I'll be checking some colors with you, getting an idea of your preferences on clothing, so we can work on curating the outward appearance, so to speak. Wonderful. Now, part of this is I will be holding some things up to you, I will be measuring your face, I will be messing with your hair. Is this all okay for today? Are you comfortable with me doing that? Delightful. Oh my goodness, no, of course I wouldn't reach out and touch you. Goodness, no. I might be precise. I might be hard to please. But I am not cool. Alright, so. First thing is first. I'm going to get a general idea of your skin tone. Did you come without makeup today like I requested? This is you without makeup. See, may I? Fascinating. You have excellent skin. I'm just getting an idea of the general. complexion. The skincare lines are going to love you. Okay. Perfect. I want to make note of that. What do you use for your skincare? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll reach out to them see if they'd be willing to do a piece with you. You said that was... And how many steps is there? Good skin tone. Elasticity. Let's see. Well, I'm just checking your neck to see if there's a foundation line. I've had a few come in here with a face full of foundation thinking they could fool me. <laughs> follows instructions. Brand. Alright. Skin tone is good. The hair. How do you feel about the hair? It's a good base. It suits you well enough, but there's definitely room for improvement there, I'll be honest with you. That is my job after all. Honesty and improvement. Now... This is natural. I see. Okay, well maybe that's a good place to start. We'll start with getting an idea of different colors that might suit you better. Do you have anything against coloring your hair? No. Wonderful. Okay. How about cutting? Different styles? You're open to it all? Delightful. 
We don't want to be like that horrid show America's Next Top Model. Oh, the things they put those models through without consent. I've got a few basic pieces here. For us to compare to your complexion. See if it fits well with what we're aiming for. The red, for example, not many people can properly pull off in a way that suits them and doesn't look entirely too dry hard. But you might be able to do it. Yes. Let me just drape this over you like so. Looks quite nice, really. Yes, that could work. I'm dropping another wig, pardon me. There we are. Alright. As I was saying, I think red suits you. What do you think? Hmm, I understand. It can become a bit of a, uh, Bit of a personality trait, something that people always assign to you and really never let you live down if you start out with it. Yes, that is good insight. You have a mind for this already. Hmm. All right, we'll put this one aside for now, but you're always welcome to come back to it. Now this one. Black is a statement. Definitely gives you an in with the edgier crowd, if that's the vibe you're going for. It gives you... an extreme nature. Forgive me, I tangled it when I dropped her earlier. You have to have the right complexion to suit black, or you have to have a pale enough complexion to really own the difference. I think Wednesday Adams, Morticia vibes, that kind of thing. Yes. And unless it's deliberate, you just end up looking completely washed out. What do you think? Are you going for a deliberate, gothy, edgy look? I'm sure. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Do you mind if I try this on your head? I want to get an idea of the length on you. Perfect, thank you. I'll just reach over your last. Good, good, good. Just like so. Alright. Hmm. It's not a bad length. I'm not sure I'm completely sold on it for you, but... Oh yes, I have to be sold on everything for your first appearance into the public. Well, if we're going to make you famous, we have to have everything right on the first try, so... Yes, it is a lot of pressure. That's why it's not for everyone, darling. The red was doable, maybe not the absolute best, but certainly could be a statement. And you weren't sure about that one. The black... Personally, I think you could pull it off if you go extreme enough in that direction, but... Given what I'm seeing here today, I'm not sure that that's the look you're going for. Now, you could curate an entirely different persona than what you are presenting, and that could be fine, but... Okay, so not of the black wig, then. Don't misunderstand me, we wouldn't have you in a wig, we would be doing your hair. But, the wigs are good.
Now, I will admit I don't always show this one to clients as an option, but something tells me you have the right energy. I think you can pull this one off. You're right, it is quite a statement. But something tells me. Something tells me you could do it. Now don't worry, everything is fully customizable to you. So we could tone it up or down depending on your preference, but it really is bringing out your eyes. I like the effect it's having there. And on your freckles, it's quite nice, it makes them pop. They're coming back into fashion now, which is delightful. I think you could do it. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll consider it. Wonderful. And again, this isn't a set style or anything, this is just to show you. Alright, I'll go ahead and put this back, and I think I've got one more that you could. Yes. Hold this one. This option usually goes one of two ways. You either go for a playful, fun and cute vibe, or you go for an edgier vibe. I don't often recommend this one either, because people will go too hard in one direction or the other. But, this one's subtle enough. One glance you think it's black, another grey. It really takes getting the right light to see that it's a dark, dark teal. Mm -hmm. mm. Thoughts? Do you mind if I paint them? Just right there. Okay. The other part of this I wanted to see. Bangs to see if they suit you or not. Let's see if fringe looks good on you. How do you feel about that? There's a mirror right over there. Mm -hmm. You could always do a nice swoop, should you wish. Mm -hmm. Ah, Amelia's back. Amelia, darling, what do you think? Tell me. Precisely my thought. I think you could do it. Alright. So, the white one... Alright. And the teal one. Okay. Mm-hmm. Personally, I think you could do any of them, which I don't say lightly, if ever. I think let's take it away from the fringe, though. I do want to see the bone structure, your eyebrows, your eyes. It's a good, it's a good marketing point. Do you have a strong leaning one way or the other? 
Okay. I see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No worries, maybe as we go about looking at some of the other options here, you will find more of a fully well-rounded idea of what you want to present. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and start on that, shall we? Alright, we're going to move on to looking at some clothing options for you today getting an idea of what sort of aesthetic you would like to curate with your wardrobe. We do have a mixture of feminine, masculine, and more unisex options, so at the end you can just let us know whichever one you're more comfortable with, but we will go ahead and look at them all, okay? Lovely. Now, do you have any sort of particular aesthetic that you would like to aim for? Open to pretty much anything. Okay, we can go ahead and get started then. Let me, uh, let me grab one of these. Now, this is going to be just a general idea of the cottage core aesthetic, seeing if that suits you. Hold this up to you. Mostly light and earthy tones, light flowing fabrics, some frills, some poofs. Mm. I think you could do it. You do have the body time for it. Do you think you could pull off a sweet and innocent vibe? Didn't think so. Alright, well I will go ahead and put this one back. We've got a few other ones. Maybe you'll change your mind on that, but let me let me go to the opposite end of the spectrum and see where we fall there. This one is for if you're going for a more edgy sort of vibe. Looking at a pleather ensemble with a bit of a string detail to go around your waist. Crop top for the top, matching bottoms, thoughts. Mm. This would be more for a going out look, yes. Much less for everyday wear. Mm -hmm. Especially considering how uncomfortable it might get after eating a single meal. Yeah. Okay. Not entirely outside the realm of possibilities. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like your, uh, your confidence. If you are interested in a suit moment, I think this would look absolutely fine on you. Mm -hmm. mm. I do like that color on you. Strong lines. Mm -hmm. The brown button detailing can be switched out if you would like. Thoughts on a suit. Mm -hmm. Yes, this would be tailored precisely to you. Any any clothing selection. And this isn't all we have, these are just the basics for me to get an idea of your interests. Okay. 
I'll be taking some measurements at the end today, that way if we have a few pieces you're more interested in, next time I can actually have you try them on. That way we have a better idea of what we're working with. Are there any here that speak to you? Hmm. I am a fan of a skinny floral tie moment. Hmm. Yes, we have everything ranging from a more light neutral look to a sort of goth vampire-esque powerful. To the in-between of... I have a business meeting at four, but I can take you out to dinner at seven. Mm -hmm. And then just your stereotypical power colors. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay, so that one then. Good to know, good to know. Now this option is more to do with the fabric type and less to do with the piece itself. How do you feel about a velvet? Mm -hmm. I think you could pull it off quite well. There is inherent sophistication in velvet that I enjoy. Mm. It's definitely having a moment right now. Okay, if you're not entirely sure. I could always do a more satin type of cloth. where velvet says sophistication, satin says elegance. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you think you'd prefer one over the other, or would you like to intermix them in your wardrobe? Moving forward, that is. Decisive, I like it. Now this. This is more about me gauging your preference and pattern. So I'm not going to say much about them, I just want to see what you think. First impressions. Mm -hmm. If you had to pick one word to describe it. Okay. Second. And again, one word to describe it. Interesting. I like that. And final one.
Alright, so just adding to your black book here. So you liked the... Mm -hmm. Okay, and you disliked the... And fabric selection wise, you preferred I think that's an excellent choice by the way And is there one way or the other you're leaning towards on aesthetic? And if you had to describe yourself in three words, what would they be? And no, you may not use your Hogwarts house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that one. I can work with that one. Hmm. One final thing on clothing and then we'll move on to measurements. Again, nothing too important here, I really just want first impressions. If you had to pick one of these for no good reason at all, I want to know which one right off the cuff you would pick. We have this lovely fur shawl number. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, screams luxury. Mm -hmm. Confidence, yes. A little outdated, maybe. Mm -hmm, I see, I see. Okay, so we've got this selection considered. Next, we have this Scott. Mm -hmm. Springtime. Mm -hmm. A little more casual. A little more attainable. Mm -hmm. Approachable, even. Oh, okay. You do have an eye for this. I appreciate that. Okay. Alright. And after that one, we have this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So which of the three would you choose? I think we can make that work. Amelia, could you please the black book? Wonderful. Yes, if you wouldn't mind just taking down the measurements as I take them. Thank you, dear. Okay, 
Now we are going to move on to the last stage of today's session where I'm going to get some measurements from you. That way next time, if we get to next time, we can have a few pieces more uh, that are fitting for you, let's say. Because we're not going to have a single piece in your wardrobe that does not fit you perfectly. After all, the goal is fame, not failure. Alright, so if you could just sit right there, I'll be getting some of your face, some general measurements of your body itself, and then we'll send you on your way for today. Delightful. Alright, Amelia, are you ready? Perfect. Okay. I'm going to start with your nose now. Okay. And brow bones. Mm -hmm. Not surprising. Forehead. Forehead to chin. Okay. I'm going to get around your neck, okay? I'm going to reach around you. Strong neck. Alright, let's get... I'm going to get your shoulder, so I'm going to go over behind your neck, that way you can go from here to here. Over the shoulder blades, that's right. Reach around you, just like so. Very good, very good. Excellent shoulder width. Down your arm. The other one. I just need an average of the two. Congratulations, you are perfectly proportionate. Okay. I'm going to go around your waist. There you are. Just going to snuggle that nice into the dip. Okay, very good. Make sure that's even all the way around. That looks like it is. Well done. Okay. Now, if you wouldn't mind, I'd like to get a bicep circumference. Very good. All right, I'm going to get the length of your leg really quick. 
I'm just going to drop the end of this to the floor. You could just stand straight for me, please. Thank you. Thank you, Amelia. I'm going to go ahead and get the circumference of your head, should we wish to have a head designed later. your chin to your collarbone. Very good. Very good. Okay, I think that about does it for the measurements for today. Moving forward, if we feel like this is a partnership that both parties would benefit from, we would get some more in-depth measurements at that time. Yeah. I'll admit, I do think you have what it takes. You have incredible potential. I think fame would suit you. Of course. Well, I will work on curating everything that we learned today. And I'll give you a phone call with any results from that can discuss and you could make any modifications you see fit. Delightful. Let me set this down. Alright then. You certainly have it. I think you can go far in this industry. I'm looking forward to seeing what we can do with you. One quick thing I want to check before you go. The video from earlier. Do you remember it? Perfect. I think you have the it factor, but I want to see if you can perform the it factor. Go ahead and thank them for me. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Needs a little bit of work, a little bit of a little rough around the edges, but something like this. Shoulders back, chin up, bright smile. Thank you so much to Sunbird for sponsoring this video, and be sure to check out the links below. I'm looking forward to what we can accomplish together. See you again soon.